concept started for me last year when I had this idea to get a container and start my own decorating store in a container. Then I found out about 27 boxes and I knew this is what I'm supposed to do. So I do everything, bespoke furniture, headboards, curtaining, and I also have some ceramics. So I think 27 boxes is a really cool idea. I mean, obviously creating a market where you can have niche businesses all in one place, um, and obviously creating a platform where the public is able to then go to a place where they usually wouldn't find that product, but are then capable of finding that product and enjoying that experience. I think that's really cool. I mean, I know that it's very hard for people to start businesses and to keep their businesses going to make sure that they have a sustainable market. And I think that what 27 Boxes has done is basically bridge the gap between the ordinary man on the street and those niche markets that usually can't be tapped into because there's just not enough awareness about them. So I think what they're doing is absolutely amazing. I don't usually like shopping. Shopping, I think it's usually like a very painful experience, but I'm pretty sure that 27 boxes is going to be amazing. I think it's, it's, it's brilliant, it's beautiful architecture, and it's right where it needs to be within Melbourne. So um, I like it, I like it a lot. It's going to be a place where a lot of um, students and young adults and people who are arty um, will definitely be drawn to. I think it's a cool idea to have. Really interesting to have that as like an innovation on the traditional shopping mall yeah. because I don't think you feel as much of that like looming commercialism as you do yeah, in like the Polish sort of yeah. environment. Exclusive and different, and you don't feel like you're gonna have everything that everyone else owns, and you know, like reproduction, run of the mill sort of thing. Okay, well, um, this flower business has been in our family for about four generations now, me being the fourth generation. Our main objective in this is for people to leave here happy. So happy with the money that they've spent and happy um, with the flowers that they've received. We're very excited about this concept, this, um, the whole shopping containers. It's a brilliant concept and because it's so unique it will attract more people which is really great for all these local startup businesses and, and it's really affordable. And I uh, my name is Camilla and I'm the owner of Camilla's Macaroons here at 27 Boxes. Uh, this is our first week, second week that we're in, that we've been doing this and so far it's been great. The vibe around here has been very cool. The community that's come together is very interesting. Lots of international people have come and stopped by which is really great to see. And yeah, all we do is sell macaroons or also known as a macaron. We've got 15 different flavors at the moment. Anything from chocolate ganache, peanut butter ganache, Chili chocolate, pistachio, anything you can think of, we've got it. I hate shopping malls because there's no clocks and it's claustrophobic and there's no windows that are open or sometimes no windows at all. So shopping, especially malls, it's just everything's so spread out. You've got to walk miles from one shop to the other, you know, it's, it's hectic and if you want to shop for many things, you've got to spend a day doing shopping. So I'd rather just have everything all in one spot. So it just takes a lot of time. That's what I hate about it, really. Um, definitely in malls, I don't like to walk endlessly for long distances. And um, I like variety um, in the mall. So the mall should be relatively compact with large number of shops, different types of shops, not the same kind of shop that you find in every single mall. So yeah. I hate that nowadays, every corner there's a shopping mall <laughs> and I understand that it's, it's convenient for people but every day there is no difference from what that mall to that mall to that mall. Um, yeah, I find it really depressing the fact that it's so like everyone's just buying the same garments over and over again and nothing's like different and innovative and it's all pretty much just factory produced. <coughs> also the spaces themselves don't have any charm most of the time. The buildings feel as mass produced as the clothing. <laughs> So it's nice to have something unique. Okay, so um, with shopping malls, right? I actually don't get it. You know, you, you go to shopping malls and you find the same stores everywhere. I feel they do suck. I mean, why can't they just bring um, something that, like let's say support small businesses, small individuals. Why can't they just support us, people who create their own stuff, than actually having these shopping malls everywhere in South Africa selling same things. like. I don't want to say names, but really. My main issue would be the security. I mean, I've heard about lots of malls 
where there have been muggings and things like that taking place, you know, and just like if they could improve the security. The originality, I guess, of shopping malls, there aren't enough original stores or retailing um, stores that um, obviously will embrace or look to throw out the proudly South African brand, if you can say that. There's too many of the same stores, especially um, chain stores that are obviously multinational companies like um, companies from overseas. So it would be cool to have more local brands or stores you know, being advertised and therefore in that sense there will be a lot more originality and you know, diversity in terms of branding and stores being different from each other.